Many students at home are doing chanting and watching online session by, by hiding it from their parents without telling their parents they are following spiritual spirituality. Isn't bad? Isn't it bad? And if unfortunately some of parents got to know about it, then there will be havoc. What to do, Prabhu? Actually, um, they are watching Zoom sessions or online sessions and parents are watching TV. <laughs> Everybody wants to watch according to their taste. Uh, and, uh, and they are all grown-up people. They are not small kids. Uh, so, even Irinakashipu, father of Rahalad was putting so much challenges to his child to advance in his Krishna consciousness. I will ask the rest, what criminal activity are they doing? Are they murdering somebody? Are they killing somebody? By in watching this, parents are watching some cinema or serials. That is a more criminal activity because it goes against the nature of the soul. It, it actually nourishes the bhogavruti. And these people are trying to get some opportunity to hear some online session and do some Zoom japa and things like that. They are trying to increase the seva bhav. You are talking as if they are doing a big blunder or something. You know, who is your real parent? Krishna and Radha and Krishna are your ultimate parent. They are the greatest grandparents for you. Hmm. So, Actually, even if they are caught red-handed, what will the parents do? Will they hand them over to police or something? Huh? So, first of all, be clear about what is spiritual life yourself. Hmm? Spiritual life is not a criminal activity. Huh? Spiritual life is a sublime activity. It's a spiritual activity, natural activity, eternal activity, imperishable activity. Huh? That is spiritual life. Huh? And uh, watching TV serials, nonsense. Huh? Nonsense it is. Today, serials are all filled with illicit sex. Huh? And they have, people have to be punished for it, for watching it. And people are watching it and you are thinking it is wonderful. You know, your parents can watch such dirty serials and children cannot attend online lectures or hear some Zoom Japa or something they can't do. It's really ridiculous. So everybody has the right. If, you, if I am grown up in my, in my... In fact, right from childhood, my parents gave me the freedom. I told my father that I want to spiritual life and this is the path I want to follow. In fifth standard, I told my father, this is the path I will follow. Hmm. And uh, any true, genuine parents will give you freedom. Otherwise, if parents are like Irina Kashipu, then you will be like Prahlad. Have faith like Prahlad and go on in your Krishna consciousness. Yeah, go ahead. Krishna is from Hyderabad. You are talking about havoc. What havoc? Will they hand over to police? What do you think they will do? Huh? You think everybody does not have the birthright to practice spiritual life? Hmm. Just as they have right to watch nonsense, everybody has a right to practice spiritual life. In fact, you have more right to practice spiritual life uh, than watching nonsense. Hmm? So, we, we have to first, be, first of all be convinced about, if you are a devotee, you should be convinced about it. Hmm? We are not in this world uh, to be swayed by Maya all the time. If somebody is feeding you meat tomorrow, will you eat it? Saying that my parents are giving me meat, I can't avoid it. If you say you can't avoid it, then you are not a devotee. Huh? You don't have the guts to say no to the nonsense. Hmm? So, be clear about what spiritual is about. Spiritual life is not going to be a bed of roses. For Prahlad Maharaj, it was not a bed of roses. He had to really face a lot of hurdles in his spiritual life. So he crossed through those obstacles with sincerity, therefore he, Lord Narasimha came and protected him. If you want to flow with Maya, then you are also a part of Maya only. Be a part of the Maya world. Hmm? So if you want to be with Krishna, then you have to face the challenges. 